cricket and uh, action at the Kensington yeah, Oval today. Not a bad effort, not a bad, not effort. A bad effort, yeah, but they fell short. But then again, the Aussies are the world champions. Good evening. Australia secured a 2-0 series victory after an 87-run success against the West Indies in the third test at Keynes in the novel today. The Windies began the final day of the Digital Test Series with seven wickets left, needing another 240 to reach a 475-run target, which would have beaten their own record of 418 back in 2003 against the same Aussies. Now, for a while, the dream was on as Dwayne Bravo hit four sixes in his 69 to take them within 173 for no further loss. But he and man of the series, Shivnarayan Shandapal, who made 50 today, fell in consecutive overs. And 22 overs later, the entire innings ended on 387. Here are the highlights. Yeah. Shot. Beautiful shot. 50 for Dwayne Bravo, taking a single to cover point. Batted very well, the young man from Trinidad. Bravo goes aerial, and it's going to be six. Fantastic shot from Bravo over extra cover. He goes again, this time over cover, another six. So He's gone again. He still managed to get it over Lover. It's another six for Bravo. Chandapal has clobbered that, has absolutely clobbered it. That's another half century for Shivnarayan Chandapal. It seems almost inevitable now. And there's an appeal. Now the Australians are celebrating. Arim Dar is checking with square leg to see if the ball carried. Bravo is walking off and that's it. Bravo doesn't wait for the umpire's finger to be raised. Kasson getting his second wicket. Big appeal for leg before. So two wickets in quick succession. Clark picks up Chandapal. That's out. That's the end of him. Mitchell Johnson strikes. That'll be out. Caught behind. He now gets a wicket. In the air and could be out and will be taken. So Ben goes. Gone this time. Yeah, Lee does it again. The ambition has exceeded the ability and Lee ends the match. And he gives Australia a series victory by a margin of 2 to nil. West Indies skipper Chris Gill thought his guys really could have broken the record. And seeing how close they came to doing that, he's not disappointed. Um, well done to our guys. I thought we played good cricket um, right throughout the series, but unfortunately, we came out on the losing side. Um, it was a good game today. I um, can't, you know, fault to the guys for the effort they put in today. Um, put um, 388 runs was pretty good, but unfortunately, we lost. At any stage, did you feel that you could get this world record, you could climb this mountain? Yeah, definitely. Um, but uh, we knew that um, it's not going to be easy. Someone have to get a big engine, and which we didn't get in this game. Um, you know, partnership is key in this game um, innings as well. So once we bought it out the day, we know who to get the runs. But we didn't. This 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 display didn't happen today. Meanwhile, Aussie skipper Ricky Pontain also thought the Windies made a good effort to get the runs, and in all, the home team put up a worthy fight. There's been some great test cricket played, I think, right through the last uh, last three test matches. Obviously, this game here, it's gone pretty much to plan for us, but the West Indies have got a lot of uh, positives come out of this game as well. The way they attacked the run chase in the second innings, I thought, was uh, showed a lot of heart and a lot of character. So, uh, you know, luckily for us, we've, we have pl we played well enough, battled well enough in the second innings to set up a really big lead. No large lines at Kensington Oval this morning certainly showed encouraging signs that the Windies had their fans behind them. From as early as 9 a.m., thousands of spectators were patiently lined up outside the Oval, buying tickets at reduced prices to get inside for today's final day. Most came hoping for a victory and braved the sun in order to go through the process of getting to the payment booths and getting searched by security. Now, CBC Sports spoke to some West Indian and Australian fans who shared their pre-match thoughts, and even the Aussie supporters were not 100% certain of a victory. I think Australia can still win, but 